Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the state of Hawaii. So we've got another new property out here in Hawaiian Ocean View Estates, another one of these one-acre lots. I've done a number of videos about properties in this region, um, and so in the interest of not being too redundant, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to attack this from a slightly different angle in this video. Uh, before I begin on this, I do want to say to you guys, uh, because I keep getting emails, calls, and questions about this, and typically I wait till the end of the video to discuss it, so I'll discuss it now. Price on the property for this one is eight thousand. Scooch higher than our other ones that we've offered, and there's reasons for that, and I'll discuss them. Whatever the case, the buy now button here is set up for an eight thousand dollar checkout. If you click this, it's asking you to enter eighty one fifty. Uh, if that's not something you feel comfortable with, or even if you just don't have a credit card that can accommodate that, if you would prefer to close on this with title insurance, if you would prefer not to relinquish your money to us until such a time as the property has been deeded into your name, that's fine. We're totally cool with that. Unfortunately, we don't set these listing pages up to have 82 different iterations of a checkout. We have one. Uh, so if it is something that you want to do, give us a call, 702-919-7170. Shoot us an email, support at HemingwayLand.com. And what we'll do is a $500 checkout, uh, and then from there, we will uh, take it through title escrow, and we will not ask you for the rest of your money until such a time as the title company is ready to close and insure the property. I will discuss this more later in the video, but point is I at least wanted to address it up front. If you are interested in this property and you either can't or don't want to do all 8000 on a credit card through a website, that's fine. Just contact our offices, and we'll work something out with you. All right, blah, blah, blah. With all that said, let's introduce this property, guys. This is HIHI2161, located as noted in Hawaii County, the Big Island. It's a one-acre lot in Hawaiian Ocean View Estates, and this one acre is priced at $8,000. Now, as I remarked earlier, uh, and if you come down here, click on the GPS coordinates, it's going to bring it up on a map. As I remarked earlier, this is slightly uh, scooch more expensive than the other one-acre lots that we have been offering. And if you zoom back here on the map, what you're going to see is that the reason for this is that the property sits very, very close to the Mamaloa Highway, to the Belt Road, the Loop, uh, Highway 11, which goes all the way around the island. So generally within this subdivision, and for those of you who don't know, the subdivision is pretty much this entire carved out area right here. Uh, generally, the closer this subdivision that you get to the highway, the uh, more expensive real estate becomes. So ergo, we had to pay more for it, and thus we are selling it for a scooch higher. Whatever the case, $8,000, uh, still very affordable, still uh, just an easy sort of uh, entrance into the Hawaii real estate market. All right, with all that said, guys, let's just zoom in here. So this property sits right here off of Seabreeze Parkway. It is... Well, we'll just do this. West of Tiki Lane, east of King uh, Kamehameha Boulevard. And if we go to the plat map here, what you're going to see is that it is this lot right here off of Seabreeze Parkway. Uh, I recently had somebody buy a property from me and then suggest that there was somehow some ambiguity about where the property was located, even though I then showed them the video in which I discussed it 82 different times. So a uh, quick thing here, guys. Uh, this property right there on the plat, we also have the plat map down here. For your reference, it is this lot right here, uh, as noted off of Seabreeze, just west of Tiki Lane, etc. So that is a one acre lot, by the way. These plat maps are not the easiest thing in the world to read because they are digitized by the county and then uploaded. So this is about as good as we can offer you as far as a plat map, short of actually going to um, Honolulu and pulling a copy of the plat from the county files. Uh, this is about as good as it gets. That being said, this is a one acre lot and you can find that uh, in any number of places in county files. Should you want to check me on that? FYI. Anywho, uh, in regards to the property down here, like all of the lots within this subdivision, you have paved road access, you have power at the lot line. I could zoom in here on the map to prove it to you, but you're going to see the most unflattering images of Hawaii ever. So let's go down here to the photo gallery where a professional photographer takes photos. By the way, the first few rows of photos that you have here are from the community itself. You're going to see things like the local grocery store, the local hardware store, the local church, things like that, uh, all very close to subject property. The uh, property-specific photos begin with this one. So if you want to get a sense of exactly what this lot is like and what the area around it is like, just come down this photo and uh, start scrolling through these here. So as noted, power at the lot line, paved road access. Um, and if you come out here, what you're going to see is that the property is a is a mix, pretty much like all the properties in this region, a mix of um, lava rock and ojai trees. 
if you are going to build on this property, you are obviously going to have to do some grading. It's called a grubbing and grading permit that you will need from the county. My understanding, however, is that they hand them out like candy because pretty much everybody who's living out here has to do this. Uh, whatever the case, there are a number of local vendors out there who, um, who own bulldozers who will come out and doze, quote unquote, doze the land for you, uh, help you flatten it out, help you make it more inhabitable, blah, blah, blah. I will let you guys uh, kind of peruse these photos uh, on your own time. Uh, that being said, I'm going to come back up here to the listing page. I'm just going to kind of introduce you to a couple points of interest about this property. So <clears throat> number one, the property sits uh, within about a, it's about 10 miles as the crow flies. That being said, practically speaking, it takes about 10, or excuse me, it takes about 30 minutes to get to the shore. So if you're going to the nearby Black Sand Beach, Poodaloo, or the Papakalea Green Sand Beach, uh, you should expect about 30 minutes. It's one of these, you drive your car, you take your bike, whatever, you park it, and then you're going to hike. Uh, whatever the case is, you're going to be a uh, hell of a lot closer to the shore than you probably are right now. Uh, there are links right here to each of the respective websites for the beaches or where you can learn more about the beaches, where you can learn more about what is essentially going to be in your backyard. Uh, additionally, we have links here to the uh, Big Island Travel Guide where you can see really all the things that are going to be available to you. Uh, should you choose to buy this property, move out there and start living in Hawaii. So I'd encourage you guys to review those websites. They are linked up here under points of interest. Uh, more importantly, down, however, we have uh, county contact information in this section. So uh, I would hope before somebody gives me $8,000 to buy a property, they do their research, they figure out exactly what they want the land for and are they going to be able to do it. Uh, do what they want with that property. So we provide these these helpful links and phone numbers here so you guys can do some of that research. Now, introduction to these, let me run through these quickly. Ocean View Community Association. You click that, it's gonna take you to this website. Hello, this website, I mean. So uh, this property sits in a uh, sort of informal homeowners association. Uh, they don't charge any fees for living there aside from the annual taxes, obviously. Uh, instead, this is more of a... It's a nonprofit organization that really helps try to uh, create a sense of community out there as well as build up the community. So what they, uh, you know, what they do basically is try to attract businesses to the region. Uh, so as the people who are living out there have uh, more and more options for, you know, just ways to spend their free time. Uh, pretty much the um, grocery stores, the supply stores, the little churches, the little uh, office buildings, things like that that you see down here in these photo galleries are all things really at the base of this subdivision. Uh, veterinarian clinic, market, another market, so on and so forth, that uh, really were all attracted out there by this, um, by this community association. Point being, if you're going to live out here and you have questions about this region, about anything you want to know, I would highly recommend contact these people. They will be able to uh, kind of talk you through that, explain to you more about the history of Ocean View Estates. Additionally, all right, back to this one. This is the one I meant to show you guys. So the second link here on the table has to do with road maintenance fees, uh, the Road Maintenance Corporation. As noted, the HOA does not collect any formal dues throughout the year, but in addition to your annual taxes, you're going to have annual road maintenance fees. And $150 a year is, give or take, is what it is. And uh, obviously that's not a bad trade-off for having paved roads all along the entire subdivision. So $75 in February, 75 in August, I think is how it breaks down. Uh, point being, if you want to learn more about that, you can contact this association, check out their website, etc. Additionally, down here, they also have, uh, I think, some bulldozers for rent or bulldozers for sale. Uh, so the grubbing and grading that I was discussing earlier, uh, you'll be able to uh, acquire or rent one from them, etc. Uh, additionally, within this table, we also have some other important pieces of information here, planning and zoning department. As we say up here in the headline, uh, they have relaxed zoning laws in Ocean View Estates. It doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want. Uh, it just means that they are more open than a lot of places on the mainland, and they're more open-minded, particularly about uh, sustainable living type situations, uh, shipping container homes, tiny homes, things like that. Uh, we have a lot of buyers who want to do things like that. So Hawaii is an ideal place. Aside from it being Hawaii, it's an ideal place because the zoning out there is such where they do allow for those things. Now, of course, you're probably going to need additional permits or different permits than you would need if you're building a single family residence. So calling the planning and zoning department, discussing it with them in advance, that's always a smart thing to do. Additionally, we have the local electric company down here. Um, Hilo, hello again. Uh, Hilo Electric. So uh, if you have questions about what is it going to cost for me to get hooked up to the grid out here, 
As noted, there's power all along the roadway here on Seabreeze Parkway, but perhaps you want to talk to them in advance and just find out the practical considerations you need to be aware of, considerations and costs. So that's why we provide that. Uh, finally, we also have Waterworks Hawaii down here. So if you uh, elect to buy this property, you're going to live on this property. You're not drilling a well to get your water. You're going to be living in a tropical environment where uh, rainwater catchment systems are ubiquitous, where they are the sort of uh, way of life. And if you've never done that before, and if you have questions about that, what's it going to cost? Practically speaking, what do I need to know? I think it's always best to reach out to local vendors and discuss it with them. Um, they obviously are going to be a better resource for you than I would be if you called our offices. Additionally, they're usually a better resource than actually calling the county about it. Uh, with the county, you want to know what kind of permits you need, but local vendors are going to have uh, insight into those kinds of things. So that's why we've provided all these links here. All right, guys, with all that said, 10 minutes into the video, I'm getting to the point of this video. Here we go. All right, so here at HemingwayLand.com, I would like to believe that we have people who are shopping for land who are investors or who are looking for ways to uh, sort of build a portfolio of real estate and not the kind of thing where you buy it and then maybe, maybe, maybe 10 years you could sell it and make a nickel's worth of, of profit, uh, but rather people who are buying and flipping land uh, just as we are. As noted, all of our properties are wholesale properties, so they're sold below market value. And uh, so I would... You know, so we have a number of people who do buy from us and go on to resell their properties. Um, and I would encourage any of you who are looking at land um, that this is always an option. These aren't the kinds of things that you have to buy and hold for 10 years. You can buy and, and flip immediately. Just start putting ads on Craigslist. And it's a nice way to build up um, a sort of nest egg or even passive income, selling things on terms. Uh, etc. So investing in land has been very good to me and I would hope that it would be good to some of our customers who come to the site. So one of the things I want to discuss here is the idea of Airbnb. Obviously Hawaii gets a lot of tourists um, each year and if you have a property out here whether it's going to be your permanent home, whether you're going to live there all the time, or whether you're looking for it as an investment property, you know, buy and hold is one thing, buy and flip is another, but then there's buy, build on the property and rent the thing out uh, every day for the next 10 years and build a really nice passive stream of income. So uh, I brought up some sites here within uh, the big island on Airbnb. Looked through uh, Kona. Kona would be the region in which this property is in. Put in some dates, put in one guest, and then I just kind of want to show you guys what's available out here in this region just to kind of get you thinking about possible ways in which you can monetize a property like this. Now as noted, 8,000 for one acre. Uh, is a pretty good price in this region, particularly being this close to the highway. Um, and it's, by the way, it's also one of the reasons why I like this subdivision is because it's an easy buy-in to the Hawaii real estate market. There are a lot of more expensive places you can purchase land in Hawaii. Um, this is one of the least expensive. Additionally, you also get a lot of land for what you're spending. So you're getting a whole acre for 8000 Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, point being, you've got people who come out here all the time. Obviously, Hawaii is a big attraction. And you can see there are some people here who are renting out their places um, to potential tourists. So if you're charging whatever, $146 a night, let's see what this house looks like. This looks pretty nice. This looks like a pretty nice house with some pretty nice photos. Uh, not sure if these people are actually living in the house while they're renting it out or if they just... Uh, rented out exclusively throughout the year and people have the run of the, the house. Point being, you too can do something like this. Uh, this looks a little elaborate. Let's navigate away from this one. Let's find a different property that's maybe not as 45. Let's see what this one's like. Okay, so this looks like it would not be my first choice necessarily as a place to stay, but here's a person who's making money even with uh, a setup like this, even with an arrangement like this. Uh, not too fancy. Uh, the basic amenities are available, and yet here's a person who is bringing in money for themselves with this property. So things like this are things to consider, and they should inspire you a little bit, particularly as you go through here and you look at some of the other options that are available out here. Let's see what a $40 a night house is like. It's pretty nice. Are they renting out a room or are they renting out the whole house? I don't know, but not bad. Point being, there's a lot of tourists who come to Hawaii. There's a lot of people who want to spend money. They don't want to say, and they don't want to, you know, spend it all in hotels that charge three hundred dollars a night. Uh, so something like this, if you elect to do something like this, I believe that you can make some good money on this over time. You'll probably recoup your investment within the first 
I'm spitballing here, let's say 18 to 24 months. And then after that, you're renting out a house every day. In fact, let's just do this. What are these people charging? You got one's charging $62, $95, $25 a night. Let's do this. What's well, 62 times 365? 22,000 a year. And so you don't rent it out every night. Let's say $62 a night times 300 nights a year. 18,600. 18,600 a year. Not bad. Um, you know, and of course, if you end up having multiples of these or if your, you know, land portfolio becomes bigger, you're buying other pieces of land elsewhere, uh, obviously it's going to help you get to a certain degree of financial independence that you maybe don't have right now. You have a little bit saved up and you're trying to think of the best ways to invest it. Um, I think land in Hawaii is, uh, is a good way to go. And that's one of the reasons why we've, we've recently started uh, kind of reconfiguring our business model to focus not just on New Mexico, but also uh, a more, you know, tourist attraction-y type place like Hawaii. So anyway, guys, I encourage you, explore the Airbnb site, uh, look at prices, look at what some of your competitors might be like in this region, what they're offering, try to figure out what you can charge, and try to come up with, you know, how much money could I actually make on something like this? What are the costs involved? Blah, blah, blah. And just sort of get thinking about that. Uh, as I noted earlier, land has been a very good investment strategy for me, and uh, I hope it can be for you as well. All right. So uh, let's say you guys want, do want to buy this property. Let's talk about how this works. So as noted, we have the buy now button right here. You can click this. It'll take you to that checkout that I showed you earlier. I do want to show you guys, if you're going to pay us uh, $81.50, you know, with a credit card, or you're just going to pay it in cash and, and you don't want to deal with the title company, that's fine. That's fine with us. The way this works is we're going to have our attorney in Hawaii draft the new conveyance document plus supplemental documents. So let's say you buy this on a Monday. I'm going to contact the attorney on a Monday and I'm going to say, draw up a new deed. And he's going to say, I'll have it for you in 24 hours. No problem. And then invariably it will not be 24 hours. It'll be like 72 or 96 hours. So point being, give us a couple days. We're going to get all those documents to you. Uh, once you approve them, we're going to autograph them, notarize them, mail them off to the county to be recorded. Now, um, as noted, if you want to check out on this form, Enter the names that you want on the deed, marital status, that's the thing we need for the deed in Hawaii, tax address, where's the county going to send the annual bill, agree to the terms of service, click next, and on the next page you'll have credit card information to enter. Uh, as far as we're concerned, once you give us money, the property is yours. Uh, that being said, uh, practically speaking, it's going to be a few weeks before the thing will actually be conveyed into your name simply because of the time it takes documents to go back and forth from attorneys to the Bureau of Conveyance and yada, yada, yada. Now, Pretend for two seconds you're like, hey, I don't trust this shady guy on the internet. I don't want to give him 8150. How else can I do this transaction? As noted earlier, if you come to our How It Works Buying From Us page and uh, you look at the situation that we have down here, this scenario of closing through title and escrow. Now, generally, we, we, we don't reserve it for properties over 10,000, but we recommend it for properties over 10,000. This one's close enough. If you call us and you say, uh, I, you know, I'd prefer to do a deposit. I prefer to get title insurance. I do want to do the Airbnb thing, which means I'm going to have to build on that land, which means I need a loan, which means the lender is going to want to see title insurance. It's all fine with us. Totally cool with that, guys. So the way that's going to work is we'll ask for a deposit. We'll draft a sale purchase agreement. It's going to look exactly like this one. This is our generic sale purchase agreement, but basically... It's one page, one page for signatures. You can review it in advance before you even give us money. Uh, but essentially, we're going to submit this to the title company. We sign it, you sign it. We, quote, demonstrate intent. Uh, title company takes it. They are going to vet the property, and they're going to come back to us probably in about 30 days and say, okay, we're ready to, uh, to convey the property. And that's when they'll ask you for the remainder of the money. That being said, we do ask for a deposit up front to prove that you are serious. We're taking it off the market, not selling it to anybody else. So we do want to see some amount of money. Uh, so if you are interested in going that way, please reach out to us, 702-919-7170, or shoot us an email, support at HemingwayLand.com, and we will accommodate that. The other properties that we're selling or have sold in Hawaii, a lot of these have been closing through title and escrow. This one did, this one is currently uh, in that circumstance, so on and so forth. So um, it is not foreign to us. Uh, we completely understand if a buyer wants to do that. Whatever the case, there are two ways to facilitate this transaction. Pay it all up front or just pay us $500 and let the title company worry about collecting and dispersing the money um, down the line. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, all right, 20 minutes of me talking, guys. I appreciate your patience. I hope this was informative. I hope this wasn't too terribly redundant from the other Hawaii videos. I fear it was a scooch. Uh, 
Anyway, if you guys do have any questions, shoot us an email, leave a comment here on the YouTube, or give us a call. Appreciate you guys watching this for this long. Thanks a lot.